Um, hello everybody, uh, today we're playing some Trenches, it's a, uh, work in progress game on Steam, highly suggest checking it out, it's kind of like a World War 1 slash World War 2 game, basically it's kind of cool, you can like build your own trenches, and there's a, they have a pretty good single player, um, they have a work in progress multiplayer, but yeah, I think it's a very fun game in general, there's a lot of there's a good amount of bugs in it, that's what I have to say about that. But overall, it's a pretty just a fun game to play in general, if you're talking about just having some time to spare. It has a really unique system of obtaining weapons. Because rather than unlocking them, you have to like mine trees to get resources to build them. Oh yeah, and so basically the point is you just try and capture these flags, it's like a conquest, and you just defend in waves. So I guess we'll just get up to the front line, take the last flag, so now we just gotta hold this point I guess. They coming yet? Oh there they are, yep. That's not good. Okay, so like as you can see, you can spawn all the way back here, and this is the back line. But what's kind of neat is you can mine trees like this to get this stuff called requisition. With this like requisition, you can um, build things. Like you can build different types of like, guns. They do have like a section for artillery and building shells and rockets launchers and stuff so let's see what I want to make I can make M1 Grand let's make that so yeah as you can see I can use this requisition to build resources five rounds okay let's put that there okay and so now we got our M1 Grand I guess There's one more bot left in this wave. Their AI is kind of flimsy, but, you know, it's a work in progress game. But in general, I really like this game. It's pretty fun. The trees are also kind of weird looking. Kind of just, I guess that's supposed to be wind, but like at some points, like, that's kind of weird looking. Their sound is also kind of off, just like running in a straight line doesn't really make any noise at some points. Okay, so there's 13 waves now. I mean, 13 bots in a wave. Okay. Yeah, they, the, the amount of bots in a wave slowly increases. Spawn right here. Yeah, they're dropping. Oh, okay, so I took that point, so hopefully we gotta recapture that. Do I have. Yeah, okay, I have a pistol. This is kinda neat. 1911. Okay, let's see if I can wreck some people with this. Ooh, this thing is nice. Yeah, like, that works pretty well in this game. Yeah, there's... Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so they're pushing us back a lot. So, let's get to the front lines. Oh, there's also these really cool machine guns. They're, um, kind of weird to fire, but 
are pretty good, and um, if you get out of them, yeah, there's this random thing where you are like 30 feet above the machine gun when you get out. But you know, it's a work in progress. So we got the third wave defeated. So this is just single player gameplay right here. Um, yeah. Is there anyone in melee? No. I don't know if there is. Oh, okay. Let's go on with the pistol. There we go, we got the flag. Let's get up on this rock, actually. I don't see anybody. Oh, there. One. Oof. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Oh, there's a ton of guys. No, okay, yeah, no. Retreat. Okay, this is a better angle right here. Very loud. Oh, that's cool. I died. Okay. Let me see some of the other guns you can make by mining this requisition stuff. I guess I can't mine that tree. Okay, then. If I, what about this one? There we go. That's working. Yeah, so you want to mine these trees to get the requisition, and then go over to this little ammunition shack, and you can make things. Let's make PPSH-41 SMG. Ooh, they added the Owen machine gun carbine. I, that was in the last time I played this. Might have to try that out. Let's craft some bullets for this. Can I also... How about a shotgun? Can I get the shotgun? An OP, oh, an overpowered shotgun. I might just have to try that out then. Okay. Okay. Let me get this stuff. Put that there. Put that in there. Okay. There's the PPSH. Okay. Can I get over this wall? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh! Oh, stuck in the barbed wire. Uh, okay, there we go. Let's push up on them, try to take the D point. The level looks really cool, though. It gives, like, the whole World War One just no man's land vibe. Destroyed tanks. And Oh, that's a World War One tank, and that's a World War Two tank, and that's British, and that's Soviet. But you know, it doesn't really matter. It's okay. Finally, at the front lines, I guess. Oh, there's one left in the way. Oh, we got him. Perfect. There's the shotgun, and there's the PPSH. Okay, next wave is coming to... Oh, okay, so there's 49 of them. This is not going to go very well, I can already tell. Okay. Okay. I don't see them. Oh, there they are. Okay. Oh, this thing fires fast. This thing's, this thing's like a laser gun. Oh, no, oh, retreat, retreat. Okay, there Oh my gosh, thing fires really fast. Oh, I died. Okay. Well. Okay. Okay, so now I've been playing some single player. I'm going to show you the really cool concept about this game. 
which is actually the fact that you can actually build your own trenches in the uh, multiplayer modes. Okay, so now that I'm actually in their uh, one of their multiplayer modes, this is our PvP, which I think is the only mode right now that actually works for uh, the trench building. We can pull out this hammer and show like the really cool concept of the game, which is actually these trenches. So, for example, I can like I can build a trench. Just boom, you have a trench. And I mean, we can make these like as long and as large, as intricate as possible. You can really be really creative. Put like a corner right here. Another corner. Maybe like a little junction area. Yeah, so we can build trenches like this. And there's more to it. We can also like put some barbed wire down. This type of barbed wire looks, looks cooler. Oh, okay. Or we can put some sandbags right there. Or maybe right here. And then we can also put down some other buildings. Like a machine gun. Like right there. And then it takes a while to actually build everything but you should be able to do this. So actually to build something, go in this hammer, which should be the F key, and you just wanna hold down F, it'll bring up this menu, and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna click and select on what you want. Make sure that the whole object is blue, like if I wanted to place down, let's go defensive building, barbed wire. See, we gotta make sure the whole object's blue, like because that has some red in it, can place it blue. Put it right. Pick a different one. Um, trench. Like we couldn't place it right now. However, if we wanted to place it where every object is blue, we can do that and build it up. So yeah, this is a little. Um, you can really be as creative as you want with this build. Any type of trench you want. can really do anything you want. You can build like tanks, jeeps, airplanes, a lot of things those are really functional. Um, tunnels. You can make whole tunnel systems. You can make whole trench systems. You can really make giant trenches. You can spend as much time as you want just in these on like a private server you made just building a really ginormous trench system. So I really like this game. It's a work in progress on Steam. You should go check it out. It's just a fun game to play when you have nothing else to do. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please help the channel out. Like and subscribe to the video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.